It may officially be spring, but in Montreal, winter is exacting its revenge, walloping the city and much of southern Quebec with wet, heavy snow. City officials warn cleanup will take time. We have to plow the snow away from 10,000 kilometers, 6,000 kilometers of sidewalks and 4,000 kilometers of streets. Driven by whipping winds, the dense snow brought down trees and power lines, forcing hundreds of schools to close and leaving many in the dark. At noon, 250,000 Quebec households were without power. The snow is essentially three to six times more heavy than usually it would be. So it has an impact on trees, of course. Uh, branches have broken or falling on our network, causing outages. Crews are out trying to restore power, but some customers have been warned it may not happen before Friday. Many are feeling whiplash. This was Montreal last week, sunny and free of snow. Now, this. I felt pretty depressed, honestly. Uh, yesterday, there was flowers, and today, it's under a foot of snow, so. I had to go back into my closet and fish out all my stuff. Uh, I almost wore my spring coat, and I'm glad I didn't. Another concern, road conditions across much of the city are slushy and challenging. I wish I didn't change my winter tires uh, on Sunday. That was definitely a mistake. This meteorologist says winter weather doesn't always obey the calendar, especially in Montreal. In the first half of April, don't be surprised. It doesn't happen every year. In the second half of April, it's more exceptional. And at the beginning of May, it's like near records or like we're, it's really extreme. And as the storm now pushes into the Maritimes, some people here are making the most of it. This skier says the conditions are sick. So Sarah, that storm definitely not done yet. Can you take us through the next few days? Yeah, it's still going to be messy with snowfall warnings in uh, northeastern New Brunswick as well as northern Cape Breton. Some places expecting up to 30 centimeters of that heavy snow that we've seen here. And don't forget the wind. Some areas of Nova Scotia expecting winds up to 80 kilometers per hour, but they should be dying down by Friday. Adrian? All right, Sarah Levitt in a still stormy Montreal.